Hey guys, it's BVH Nightmare, and today I'm going to be taking apart my Remington 700 and installing the Magpul Hunter 700 detachable uh, bottom metal and magazine on it. It will require some uh, do-it-yourself uh, carving out of the bottom metal of the, uh, the stock, but we're going to make it work and hopefully I can show you enough uh, how to or what to do. That way you can do it yourself and do it successfully. Let's get going. So to do this job, you're going to need several things. Obviously, you're going to need a Remington 700. You're going to need a Dremel. You're going to need the Magpul detachable bottom metal. This stuff right here. Tried my hand at the uh, the plate stuff. Some gloves, eye protection on my face, some sandpaper, and maybe some extra Dremel bits. So let's get this going with the uh, disassembly of the 700. Well, hopefully, my GoPro captures what I'm looking at. Hopefully, and. Uh, Hopefully I have another angle right here I can show you. But first what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to uh, remove the bottom metal from your standard Remington 700. It's really simple. You just have two Allen bolts here. You unscrew those and your bottom metal should, with uh, some gentle ease, pull out. Now since I've modified mine before, mine came out with a little extra force and I've already skipped that step. Now you're going to have to take your action onto your, uh, your stock or chassis. Well, actually stock. And uh, mine... I just pull straight out like this since mine's been bedded it's a little harder and I'm going to set this aside for later use. Now what you're left with is your stock. Flip that over and I'm going to re re remove my sling out of nothing. So I just set that off to the side too. Toss. Now like I said before you're probably going to want a Dremel. I've had this one for about a year now. Works just fine. Some extra dr rotor bits. Not going to be too hard. Now you'll notice if you're like me and you have calipers because I reload and you took some measurements the bottom metal of your Remington floor plate and the bottom metal of the Magpul floor plate are drastically different in uh, in size. I don't know if you can see that but they're, they're drastically different. This one is probably about three tenths of a three tenths three thousandths longer or wider this way than it is. So that's going to require drumming out of the chassis around in here. We're going to go slow. And when I mean slow, we're going to go very slow. I'm going very slow. And deliberately and I'm ch checking and I'm just gonna see if this will set in there let's see that's perfect I took barely any out of there and now it's fitting in I took as you can see I maybe spent 30 seconds doing some dribbling and now this front part flip it over will fit in there Another thing on the Magpul magazine is if you look at the standard bottom metal on the Remington, it has a very short shoulder right here. The Magpul, since it's a flared magwell, has a very broad shoulder right here. And it's going to require some, some uh, significant uh, drumbling of the bottom metal. So from what I can see from at least this part of my stock is I'm probably going to have to remove these upper two lips right here on the uh, the Magpul mag or the uh, bottom metal because if I tr if I try and remove any more material inside the stock I get into the aluminum bedding block and I don't want to touch that because I don't want to mess with the structural integrity of the the stock so I'd much rather ruin a thirty dollar piece than a three hundred some dollar stock. that's good enough for me that's good enough for me right there just to do test fit I can 
I can clean it up later, but it's going to be inside the gun, so who fucking cares what it looks like. If it works, it works. I may have to remove these two small tabs right here on the side. We'll see uh, when we get there. Alrighty, so I grind, ground off the uh, the two tabs right here that uh, it will that help the bottom metal fit up into the uh, Magpul Hunter stock. Rigidity just seems the same. They ground it off really easily, so we'll see about that. Let's see if she uh, fits down in here. Well, it was better than before. I can tell you that much. So it it wants to fit. I'm just hanging up on something, and it looks like I'm hanging up on. It looks to be this back tang part here. And that is part of the stock, not part of the bedding block. Pieces right here. All right, so to clarify what's happening, is right in here is where I'm hanging up. And this little piece right in here, this little bridge up in here inside the stock is where I'm getting hung up on, is this area right in here is preventing this part of the trigger guard from setting down effectively. Since it is just the fiberglass piece, I'm not too worried about it. I can, I can drummel that out and uh, it'll come out all by itself. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I think that's a detachable bottom metal that fits. I'm going to put the rifle back together, or I'm going to clean up the, uh, the bottom metal a little bit, or the uh, bottom of the rifle, and see if it fits. Alrighty, guys. This is the uh, first time I'm doing it, haven't even tried it yet, but uh, as a note, your old Remington detachable uh, in internal box magazine, do not insert this when you are putting your rifle back together. So your old bottom metal and spring and everything, this can be just toss in the parts bin just in case if uh, you build a rifle and you just want an internal box magazine, let's say a hunting gun or something. So I got the rifle right here, I'm going to flip the rifle out. I'm going to actually take the bottom metal, put the bottom metal up into the stock, like so. Set my action down inside, being careful not to mess up the bed job. Flip my rifle over, short screw in front, long screw in back. And moment of truth. Front one tightened down. I'm just going to snug them up. And now you have a bottom metal detachable box magazine for the Remington 700. To ensure uh, it works, I'm going to take some dummy rounds that I have loaded up. And I assure you these are all dummy loaded rounds, so don't fucking... Yeah, safety check! Rifle apart to show guys. you uh, pretty much, or er, flip the rifle over. And I'm just going to show you how much uh, material I did have to remove. 
you can see I do, it, it is a pretty tight fit. I may, I took off just a little bit too much back there, and back there, but you know what, no one's gonna see it. It's just gonna annoy the fuck out of me. And you'll notice, this has been said before, that the trigger is very close up against that trigger well there. And I've heard that people who have the Timney, uh, like 517 flat triggers, have had problems and they've had to Dremel out the back part of the trigger right there.